interesting to see if the uh, transmission is going to shift right. Hopefully it is. These roads are going to be trash too, so that's going to be awesome. So the truck is running. It's running pretty well for cruising. It shifts great. Thought someone was pulling in. It shifts great. There's just a few things really left to do to get it kind of ironed out. A little bit more tuning on the engine. I don't know how well you could hear it in the video, but I started to get on it a little bit at one point. There was a flat spot. So obviously there's still some tuning here and there. I got to figure out why the uh, data logger wasn't reading the AFR gauge. And then, like I said, just little things here and there different traction bars not super urgent different wheels and tires not super urgent the truck is drivable again that's awesome 
for whatever reason, the heat started working again. Good time for that. It's 11 degrees out right now, not including wind chill. But dude, how fucking awesome is that? Goldie Hawn is on the road, 4L80 swapped, supercharged, cammed, debating on throwing a different cam in there. I, I don't know. Uh, I like that one, it makes good power. Uh, kind of just want a little bit more chop, but again, not urgent at all. Just something I might do down the road. But now that most of that is kind of buttoned up, like I said, just a little bit of data logging, tweaking the tuning here and there is the main, the main thing. Now that that truck's kind of to the point where uh, if we need to get in it, turn the key, fires up, take it down the road, do whatever you need to do, uh, we can kind of start turning our attention back to some of the other things, like Jack Black over here. I think as soon as I'm done with this video, I'm gonna pull the truck over to the hoist and lift it up, start taking the bed off so we can start tackling, uh, lowering it. I do have a flip kit on the way. Unfortunately, that's not supposed to show up until the 5th. Apparently, a bunch of them were back ordered, uh, and I didn't want to spend a ton on one from like a super expensive company. So, uh, we'll have to wait a little bit for that. I think for the notch, I'm just gonna go to the local steel yard, get some two by four tubing, and make my own, and then probably uh, get some like one inch or one and a half inch actual circular tubing to do brace bars across and mount the shocks on that. None of the tracks open around here until April. The weather for any stuff on the streets probably won't be good until a little bit before that. So we've got nothing but time. This truck, it again, that one only needs a few little things. You might have to go with a different torque converter. That one's way tighter than it should be. It's supposed to be a 3000 stall. Uh, the other day when we had it on the road, is stalled like around 1300 on the foot brake, which I don't know if they just sent me the wrong converter or what's going on with it. So we gotta look into that. The transmission might need some sort of shift kit and need some sort of shifter for it unless uh, we can get it ironed out enough to just leave it and drive and that's good enough. Keep it consistent, not have to worry about manually shifting it. Uh, but yeah. Starting to make some pretty good progress around here. It's getting exciting. 2019 should be a good year. Once both the trucks are done, I really want to get to work on James Brown if I don't find another project first. Sorry to my wife, she said no more projects until I sell some things, but uh, I've got an addiction, and that addiction is rusty garbage. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video even half as much as I did. Uh, thank you guys for watching, thank you for liking, commenting, subscribing. We'll see you next time.